Greetings, everyone. This is Zach Turner here at The True Generalist, and we are looking at the TrueGeneralist.com. Do everything with no distractions. This is a quick sneaky peeky of what the website is going to look like uh, before it actually is launched on August 1st. So along with this, I'm going to give you a little tutorial about using Chrome Element Inspector. It's really handy for trying to design a website because if you want to get a message out or a product that you want to sell, you have to have a website. You really do. So to have a good design, once you have something up like this and you want to do little tweaks and changes, it's really much easier to use Google Inspector or rather Chrome Inspector rather than having to change your HTML or CSS files and then upload them and then refresh your website just to see what that looked like. Using the inspector, I can change it on the fly. So check this out. Let's say I wanted to move my navigation options from the left over here to the right. All I have to do is right click, right clickety click, and go to inspect element. And it brings up this nice little window down here at the bottom. On the left side, I have all of my HTML tags. And on the right side, I have all of my CSS style options. And of course, you can change any of these on your own pages. But I can also change stuff here. Now, all of this stuff is only on the fly. It's not going to actually change your CSS or HTML files on the server. So you, it's just a, a hot link, if you will. You can just change it here, and it will change how you're viewing it right now. But if you notice, I'm rolling over these tags, and it's showing you what that is. So here's the navigation bar, and rolling over it, I can see that it's 940 pixels wide and 35 pixels high, which is really good to know if you're trying to put some images in there that you want to align perfectly. Uh, you can know exactly what the dimensions of that image has to be. If I keep coming down here, I can see some other tags here. My navigation options here are, here's the current page. I can click this down arrow if I want to see the actual link for that option. But right now I want to move these nav options, which is under the main nav ID tag here, under the unordered list. So I can click on this, I can see my class, I have the nav and a float and some JavaScript for my CSS options. And if I click that, it will bring up nav over here on the right hand side, along with the float option for those particular parameters. So right now it's at float left. I can click on this and I can just change that to right and boom, didn't have to hit enter, it's already there on the right hand side of the screen. Very easy to use. I could change the um, uh, padding if I wanted to. I could just click on this and say I wanted to get 60 padding. Which is, oops, oh, that, that didn't actually make any sense. 60 pixel padding. And then it goes crazy. So I have this huge bar, which is really unnecessary. So I'm just going to get rid of that by unchecking this. And it uh, strikes that out. So now that no longer takes into account whenever it's loading the page. So it's really that easy to change. Let's change the color of some leaks, uh, some links, links. If I right click on this, I can click on inspect element and it takes me directly to that tab right here on the uh, HTML tags window. And on the right side here, I can see all of my anchor link CSS options. And here's the color of that link currently. I can click on this and I can go ahead and change it red if I wanted to and that changes the color for that link and every other link that is on this page. Very handy. Now if I, uh, let's say I want to change something else. Let's say I wanted to change the size of this font. Once again I can click on that and I can change my font to be uh, 34. Make these huge links if I really want to. Very handy to get around in there. Now something even cooler is let's say I wanted to change this image. I wasn't sure, you know, what was a good image to go here. Should it be a Wolverine walking away from an explosion, or should it be a cutest little kitten ever trying to lift a dumbbell? Ah, it's such a difficult decision. So let's see what this would look like if I put this cute little kitten over here. So first we need this image uh, link address. So if I right click, and once again, inspect element goes straight to where that image source is. And I can actually right click and I can go to edit as HTML. And now I have the same box that was in my CSS window. And I can come in here and I can highlight this link. And I'm just going to control C to copy that. Now let's come back up to Wolverine. Right click, inspect element. 
And once again, I'm just right clicking inspect element just to get there faster. You can scroll through the window and try to find what you're looking for that way, but it's really a lot easier just to right click and it takes you directly to it. So I'm here. Here's my image source. I can right click, go to edit as HTML, and now I'm going to get rid of this and replace it with cute little kitten. So there that is done. And don't hit enter, you just have to hit outside of that, otherwise it'll make a paragraph. So now cute little kitten is there, and now I have two cute little kittens on the page, which is what everyone wants on their website. And I can even do things, if I go back and do edit as HTML, I can uh, make this width longer. I can make take up 400 uh, width of the page, and 100 on height, and just make it a... A huge kit. Oh, whoop, that was the wrong direction. 300. Uh -huh, there you go. Make a huge kitten. And now it's huge on the page. So anyway, that's a little, little, uh, resource there of how to use, uh, Google or Chrome element inspector just by right clicking once you're in Chrome. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my Game of Thrones tab up here. And I'm also looking at the lyrics to Wicked. So that just gives you a little understanding of my life and the kind of man that I am. Now, if you are done with all this and you want to go back to what your original web page looked like, all you have to do is either hit F5 or hit your reload this page button and everything is back to the way it was. You didn't actually change anything permanently. You just got to see what it would look like if you changed those few options. So I hope you found this little tutorial to be uh, helpful and look forward to the True Generalist coming out on August 1st. I will see you there.